lot going on here. Hey guys, welcome back to Cross Timbers Bison. We are Bison Ranching today. Lots of fun festivities going on at the Ponderosa, doing a couple of things that we don't always do. I want to thank Redmond for sponsoring today's video. Come on, you can come out, it's okay. Marissa and I are having fun. The mysterious leg. Doing a lot of random things. We've got a cow that is about to calf. And there's a great story about this cow. She's right out there all by herself and we're keeping a close eye on her because we are worried about her with what she went through last year. If you want to ranch with us today, guys join us along Cross Timbers Bison. Doing a little family herd check. We got something exciting though. There has been uh, kind of a little late revealing here recently. One of our foundation herd members, Bell Star. If you guys don't remember, last May, I witnessed her losing her calf. Wild moments last May. Well, notice Bell Star has been getting really big, very, very big. We were driving around two days ago, and Marissa said, "Look at Bell Star. She looks like she's about to pop." And I looked at her um, girl parts, and which is the first sign I look for uh, getting close to having a baby, besides a big old belly, and then. Yesterday we were out here, she said, oh, she's got some fluid coming out. So, I don't know, any day we could pull out here, which is including today, she may have a calf. It'll be the earliest red dog that we've ever had born. Three secrets. <gasps> Big Joe, whoa. <laughs> he was close. You didn't even see him, did you? I saw him. There's Bell Star. Oh, bullet. bullet. <laughs> Where's Bullet at? Bison dog. The bison dog. <laughs> well, oh man, sure does. I see it. Who's hitting me? going on here got a roll bell stars got fluid coming out already she just lost some of it here comes big joe brooks watch big joe here he's gonna mark a spot Not yet. She hasn't had it yet? Oh, she's right here. Not yet. Hello, Big Joe. Well, since we're out here, if you've got a garden or if you want to know more about your soil, if you're growing some plants or you're raising animals and need some pasture love, Marissa and I did something very important the other day you may be interested in. Take a look here what we did with Redmond. I want to thank Redmond for sponsoring today's video. We're doing something uh, that we haven't done before here at Ponderosa. We've had uh, some people do this for us, but 
Now we have the luxury of a Redmond soil test kit right here. Easy, simple made way to process and analyze your soil. We have three soil test kits that we're gonna send off. There's a little process this, we're gonna walk you through it, but we're so excited to test our soil here. This is where we are in pasture three, which is where the Big Joe herd has been for most of the winter time. But if you look behind us here, this area is what we recently burnt. And I really wanna get the soil from this because it's been protected for so long because of the blackberries. We just came through here and did a prescribed burn on it. And I kinda of wanna see what the soil is like here. I think it could be pretty interesting because this has been covered for so long. But what we have to do is take about six to eight different areas, samples. We have this nice little box here. So we'll mix six to eight of our samples in this little box here, shake it and mix it up. And then we're gonna put it here in our DI water and nutrient absorbing capsule. Okay, so what we'll do, so I'm just gonna basically walk around my shovel. We gotta get at least six inches deep of soil and we'll get some samples of it and we'll come back in our box. This is not a soil sample shovel. What do you think, bullet? Really, bullet? You gonna get down there for me? So, we're gonna take... You gonna get it for me? You gonna get that extra inch? This is really good color this dark soil so we're gonna cover this back up that's one sample i think it said five to seven i said six but we're just gonna walk around and take some more samples hey girl even though we had some moisture it's still pretty hard get out still really dark soil okay so we've taken two scoops from two places so now we're taking some out in the pasture. Now this is a lot of soil that's only going to go in one little water sealed container way down there. It's a little bit darker on there. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's some worms. There's some worms. That's good. So we'll mix it all together and then we'll only get one scoop of all these samples together here five samples put it in our water and that'll be one sample that'll be sent to the lab we do have a lot of clay here in oklahoma the point of this is so with this soil test kit what the lab will tell us is what we need or what we're missing in this pasture this specific pasture because this is just one sample we went on our results should take three to eight days there's a whole step to this it'll show us our results of what we need and then from there, and that's where the amendments process, as far as Redmond goes, Redmond can recommend what we need to have on our pasture mineral wise. That's why we're doing this. I've got this mixed up. So we've got one scoop here and then we're gonna put it in here. All right, and so this is just an absorbing agent. You just add soil. We're just gonna throw our soil back out here cause we're done. This is a mixture of five different spots in an acre or two. So we're gonna put this back out here. One of the first things you have to do before you even start your soil samples, the number one thing is you gotta go register online. You have to register your kit first. It has its own number, the label barcode right here, which is the same barcode that's on your sample that has the water in it, which is where your final sample goes. You gotta register your kit online at redmondagriculture.com backslash soil kit. Now we're doing three of these today, Marissa and I are, but we're showing you the process of one. So once you register, collect your samples, and then you'll be able to mail it to the lab and then get your results. All the instructions right here in your soil test kit box. But here's Bellstar right here. Just hanging out right here. I do see a little bit of fluid coming out of the back of her, which is a good sign. Yesterday, Marissa noticed it as well. Big string coming down, just some of that pre-burst stuff. Get back. And um, <laughs> she's been so big for a long time, but so excited of her. She has a great story. And if you guys haven't heard about it, hang around. I'll tell you the story about Belle Star. Um, it's so awesome to see her pregnant and looking fleshy and healthy again. And uh, one of our foundation herd females right here. She's been sweet to us, but man, watch when she comes by here. Oh, she's not going to show us now. She's had, uh, I don't know, maybe three babies. 
I have to go back and look at my notes, but oh yeah. Guys, I'm talking day or two, she's gonna have a calf. And it's gonna be the earliest one we've ever had. Typically, we don't have babies until about May, but we're on the right path because here pretty soon what you'll start seeing on social media is all the red dogs now that's a that's a late born he's a he's a uh, off the wall one he's a not a normal one but um anyways typically we have babies starting in may here and really a lot in june so all right well we just checked big joe herd and checked bell star mainly but uh what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna let the calves, this is our little trap here. So Dunbar is hanging out with some females right here. There is, some of you guys miss Dunbar. He's right back there. So um, there's this little trap here. And what I did is I had uh, Sam and Joel, uh, one of my former students from Plano, uh, put up our continuous panels here. Got a top rail, got two and seven eighths pipe driven right here. So we had an existing fence and I would just let, let left it. And then we put up continuous panels here with our top rail. And uh, we did it all the way around here. That's where we keep our hay. That's where we typically go out, straight out to the Joe, big Joe herd out west. But um, since we have a solid corral now, and then we have freestanding panels over here, we can let animals in here. And I typically let Cora stay in here and uh, let her come in here and graze and keep this grass down in our trap. So when we bring the animals up, this is one of the places that we catch them. But now, because we got this everything solid, we can let the calves play. So we're gonna, those weaning calves that are just caught, and we're checking on that, that um, uh, 90 heifer, the uh, 390 heifer, that, that uh, we were worried about her, what was going on with her. Now that uh, she's doing okay, and these calves are caught, I'm gonna let them out and graze a little bit. And, uh, yeah, they do. Some of you keep wondering about our big fella here. Mr. Dunbar. Dunbar! There he is. You guys have been worried about him. He's right here. Dunbar up here at the front. Trying to gain some weight. He's gained a lot of weight and he's doing good. Happy he's got some ladies with him. We'll talk about what we're going to do with Dunbar. We've got some plans for him. So typically a fun way that uh, we get to kind of watch these calves is from inside of our barn. We haven't got to show you all the updates. The inside of our barn is almost completed. We're gonna show it to you very soon. But the cool thing about the inside of the barn is the big glass sliding doors. You can see these calves and keep an eye on them. Look at them, they're over here, they're waiting. Let's have a little fun with the calvies. Let them run a little bit, let them get excited. They can run, I mean, they're in a decent sized pen, but we're gonna go somewhere where they really have it. It's been a long time. They're like, mm, everything is gonna be pumped. Come on, kids. You guys wanna go run a little bit? I don't think they can escape anywhere. I always have to double check. I'm like, do I have that gate shut? Do I have that gate locked? Come on, calves. Give me that weird look like, what are you talking about? Yeah, so in case you guys didn't know, there's those sliding glass doors. When we're inside the barn, we finish this uh, third of the barn out, and when you're in there, you can see them running this lane. This is the same lane where we work our bison. They run down this lane into typically dock squeeze chute right here. But I'm gonna set the camera down. Let's have a little fun with these guys. Nope, set it up here. Come on, come on. You can come out, it's okay. Come on. <laughs> There's more than that. Some of them haven't figured it out yet. Trying to 
to make a run for it. Go through the front entry gate. Dunbar had to check them out, the females. There's two calves that are in there too. I need to get them out. Let's go get the rest of them real quick. I think they're around, they can go around the side of the barn, the north side. I see one over here straggling around. They're probably eating feed. Get these guys going real quick. You wanna come play? Come on. Come on, I'll show you something fun. Come on. There they go, let's chase them. Oh, you guys can go. Keep going. They're like, we can't go this way. We know that we have to stop and turn around. Look. Look behind you. Look behind you. Oh, one of them's figured it out. Oh, he kicked. <laughs> it's okay. So those cat look, calves look pretty awesome. There they go. Now they're hopping. It didn't take them long. I knew they were gonna put those noses down. Start eating that grass. First they have to go smell the others, which they're right next to. Don't worry, the mysterious leg has made its way all the way up to the barn. That would be Jackie. So all I'll do is I'll just leave this open where they were through our lane here, alley, runway, whatever you want to call it. And they can come back to their water, have the automatic water set up. So they're good to go. Well, since I've been telling you guys all sorts of fun and exciting news, might as well keep it going, right? So a pretty old girl here, not so little anymore miss cora no, i hadn't shown her much lately hey girl she's so sweet got a little sass to her a little attitude so pretty buckskin my favorite 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 but so many of you for the longest time have said cora needs a buddy she needs a friend she's lonely well she hasn't been lonely she's had us She's had the bison. She's had Charlie the cat. She's had Jackie the dog. Maya. Oh, lots of friends. Chickens. I mean, look at that rooster right there. Okay, she had lots of friends, right? She gets a lot of attention. She's getting an exciting new friend coming very soon. We're going to bring it to you guys. So. Cora, it may or may not go well. I don't know. We're learning. With what we're going to introduce to her, that's going to be in the pen with her. We could, you never know what will happen. I'm not sure how she's going to react. As you can tell, she's not very friendly at all. Pretty good girl. Let's go get you some grazing. Come on. Come on. Come on, Cora. Come on. I'm going to let you go in here and graze some of this rye grass down for me. Right here behind our little addition. Come here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come here. You got an idea. Well, don't go that way. Go this way. There you go. Yeah, get some of that. There you go. See what they do. Eli's gonna come mow. They get a little. Eli's got to go out the front gate. Hold him. When you uh, open that gate, make sure you pull through and stop and wait till it shuts. Because these curious suckers 
never know about them. I want to thank Redmond for sponsoring today's video, supporting our family, supporting our ranch, and trying to take care of our soil. It's so important, guys. You got to know before you grow kind of a thing. And still, we're learning that all the time about our soil and our plants to take care of these animals right back here. Had fun with the calves. We're going to keep a close eye on Bellstar. We'll keep you updated as she progresses. And hopefully, we have a red dog with no issues that is up on his feet and no problem. Hopefully. You saw how easy the soil test was for Marissa and I to do it. If we can do it, I know you can do it. Check the link below. Use my code Dunbar and you can even save a little bit of money there. Give you a little discount. Dunbar, D-U-N-B-A-R, right here for you. And you can get your soil test kit. Pretty simple way to test it and you get your results in three to eight days. Tell all my buddies at Redmond I said hi. If you do, give them a call. Tell them Dusty sent you and they'll get you taken care of. Thank you guys for watching us.